everybody, this is Praxis, and today I had kind of a partial day. Uh, I was working over on this west wall of the west greenhouse. River also had a play date today, uh, so that was kind of in the middle. But as you can see, uh, this was completely unfoamed at the beginning of the day, and now it is, well, it's about halfway there. Well, maybe a little better than half because I just got this little strip left. I wanted to just talk about uh, the process that I'm using uh, to get these panels up. It's something that I did on the house, but it's been a while, so I figured I'd review that. Uh, the first thing I'm doing uh, is uh, on the uh, the foam that I've got here, which is behind the stucco work. I uh, dust the whole thing off, get all the dirt and you know mud or whatever off there, and then I'm putting on some borax. The reason I'm putting borax on there is you know there tend to be carpenter ants around here, and uh, it's my hope that if I have a continuous line of borax that is all along. Uh, up on top of this foam, it will reduce, you know, the pathways of ants getting in. There's going to be plenty of other ones, but hopefully it'll be one little, uh, one little piece in the puzzle of trying to, you know, reduce the amount of carpenter ants that get in. So, um, I'm taking the, the uh, borax and I'm blocking you so you can't see. <laughs> You'll get to see up, uh, as I get past here though, I'm just, uh, tapping, tapping a little bit of borax down on, uh, on the sill area, and just softening out the uh, little lumps there, and keep going. There's a lot of lumps in this box here. Borax, with the uh, pandemic apparently, is something that is in short supply. I've had a lot of trouble locating it. It's uh, not available at a lot of stores. I've had people looking for it for me, so <laughs> if people have come across it, they've picked it up. But uh, for whatever reason, borax is one of the many casualties, uh, you know, figurative, of, uh, of COVID. So it's been a little hard to get a hold of it. Let's see, I think the, the panel I'm going to put up brings me to about here. So I get a little bit, a little bit more there. Okay, so that will break up the clumps. Okay, next step is uh, to seal it up. I've got some spray foam here. Oops, it's falling over. Got some spray foam. I'm just putting a bead along the bottom. And this is two, four, six, eight. Yep, this is where I'm going to end. And uh, this just provides kind of a physical barrier for keeping, you know, ants, creatures, whatever, from getting in. Also, I, it's spray foam insulation. It's providing some some insulation and it's blocking drafts. But I'm not really all that concerned with drafts in the greenhouse. The structure really needs to breathe anyway. So the idea of sealing up every, every little uh, joint in it is not something that I'm aiming to do. I guess houses need to breathe too, but uh, based on the regulations, I didn't have a choice as to whether or not I sealed them all up. But I, I kind of like sealing up the house anyway because it saves on heating and uh, we've got the ventilation system that controls it and does it a little bit more uh, efficiently. So I've got the borax down, bead of spray foam, and next the pre-cut panel I've got here. You might notice there's a little uh, nip out of the corner here. That's just because I'm using scrap and uh, I think it'll be fine. Uh, I'll just fill that in later. I'm trying to just make efficient use of all my, my scrap material. So I'm going to slide this in under this other piece of uh, strapping that I had from the earlier work. I'm trying not to touch the spray foam so I don't smear it all over the place. Kind of catching up on things though. Okay, here we go. All the way over and then seat it down like that. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, next step is I've got these boards here which are going to retain uh, everything in its, its place. Uh, I'm wondering how I want to go about these guys. I guess I'll just kind of lay this one in here first. And these. These nails line up with the posts underneath the, the rafters. So if I can just get one of these guys in, I'll be in good shape. So lining, uh, lining this up with there so it's a roughly level path. Lining it up underneath the, the rafter. So I'm going into the post. Before I completely 